Hello everybody, Courtney from Wide Family Farm. Today I'm just gonna show you just a few new developments that we have done in our garden and um, show you what we did. So let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look. <laughs> This is one of the best days so far that we've had. Um, we haven't really been leaving the house much either, so I'm just gonna show you what we have thus far. We plan, plan on putting dirt in these flower beds. We did um, raised beds. We put cardboard underneath to kill off any vegetation. We don't know what we're gonna do with this spot just yet. I think we're gonna do a potato bed there we are um, putting stuff in these carrots and i have some garlic onions stuff like that in these beds i got a lot of herbs i'm gonna be developing so we're gonna do that and there's dixie over there like going crazy in the compost bin that's where we was hanging out last night and i had a heck of a time trying to get everybody back in but yeah, so we're just gonna do that. We had tried to kill off a lot of vegetation, but as you can see, like some of this, some of these tarps and stuff did not kill half this grass. So um, we're gonna try and kill off as much as, it, as possible. Oh, just why are you eating grass? This is the grossest dog ever. He drinks from wherever and he eats grass. He's like a cow. Okay, so yeah. This is what we got going on so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a closer look at our newer developments um, as far as our seeds are going. It's the first time this year, um, actually the first time ever, that we have actually taken a pepper, taken the seeds from the pepper, and we're actually able to grow it. So that was really new and exciting for us. I know it's probably not a big deal to some people, but it was kind of cool that we were actually to take something from our garden last year and actually put it towards the garden this year. Pretty cool. And all right, let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look at what we have. Um, this area we are trying to grow grass because it was all dead. So we have to go up and around now. Um, and then basically the fence is to keep the dogs out of it. So. We're still working on a lot of things with this house, so. And there's, there's Dustin. And what did we just plant here? Onions, what are they called? I forget. Right. Wakefield or something? No, it's Weatherfield. Weatherfield, sorry. Couldn't remember, I'm not very good with names. And, all right, so I'll just show you what these are. Oh yeah, it's Weatherfield Red Onions. And I forget why we chose these ones. We did do a little bit of reading on them. Now I can't really remember. I think they were the most hardy for our climate. I think that's why um, we chose those ones. Um, we planted, we have Kajari melons in there and loofah gourds getting ready to start. We just planted them the other day. This is my lettuce from I planted um, in the little mini greenhouse. We decided to put a light on it once it started so it can get just a little bit bigger. And yeah, closer here. These are just from what we planted the other day. Week, that was a week ago. 
We got Cherokee purple, Amish paste, blueberry, um, yellow pear, and Kellogg's breakfast in there. Like those are the um, peppers that we that came from our garden last year. I have the toothache plant. I have the dill that is right there. That picture right there is my slow bolting cilantro. That right here is my borage. I only planted two things of it because that's all I had room for. You can barely see it, but there I have my hummingbird mint, which is supposed to be very good for keeping mosquitoes away. And this one hasn't developed anything yet. Um, that is my Thai holy basil. So I'm just thinking it's taking a little bit longer because you can see over here, even my little lemon balm, you can see just little teeny little sprouts in there. So it's just taking a minute, no big deal. These are Cherokee purples in the back. Those are getting quite big. And yeah, that's broccoli. We got the Chinese broccoli, which is gonna be really exciting to see what that tastes like. All right, and that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you the next video.